What is up, people? YouTube, it is I, Damari Bros. 17, or you can call me Vinny, and today we are taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Fire Mario. I went from 420p to 1080p. Finally, I got a, uh, an upgrade for my camera. Let's not waste any more time and take a look at the sculpt. There is not much reason to go over sculpt because, well, it is a B paint after all, so there's not really much reason to go over such detail. Which means. Which means returning issues like the robotic sculpt parts, usually in the articulation section when it comes into play. But ignoring those facts, the sculpt is still pretty damn good. So there you go, the sculpt is already getting an instant thumbs up. How about that paint job though? The paint job, well, as you can see, it's Fire Mario. You, you have the white, as you can see, the sculpt, it's pretty good. Oh, well not the sculpt, but the paint. However, there is some issues like that. And um, I'm not sure if this was intentional, but the white on the gloves is a very brighter white than what it is on the clothes and, and, also, and also the hat. So I'm, I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but I think they should have been, I think all of them should have been the same white as the gloves, but it's not too much of a huge, huge issue. And my favorite part is the buttons. They are nice and shiny and as well as the shoes. Again, nice and shiny. It's bootable. So there you go, paint job, it's getting in the, the thumbs up. Articulation is pretty much the same, but we actually have an improvement. Something that I was not expecting from the figure is actually the head part. It actually has play to it. Raise it up a little bit without popping out the head, you can actually give it more, more range of movement. I mean, you don't have a complete range to go like 360 degrees, but still. This is a huge improvement over the regular Mario because, you know, the head could could barely move. So, it's good to see that this is not, you know, just change the colors. There's actually some, there's actually some progress being, being made. But, most of the articulation is just the same, and I know that is going to piss a lot of people off because a lot of people do not like the original Mario's uh, articulation. The, the arms, this is how, how far wide they can go. The, uh, they swivel up and down. The elbows bend. There's that ugly robot joint again. The hands swivel. The uh, the legs swivel. They can move up. They can move back. The knees bend. And the boots, shoes, are on a ball joint. So there you go. So articulation, um, it's not going to be getting an instant thumbs up. It'll get... It'll get a thumbs eh in the middle. For size comparison, we have the SH Figure Arts Yoshi. As you can see, it's the same size because, you know, this obviously repaint. It's not a new figure. Mario is the same exact size as he was before with his original colors. So, if you still want a Mario display, you know, you still got it. Let's go over something everybody wants to see. The accessories. Our first accessory is the Fire Flower. As you can see, it's nicely painted, nicely sculpted. I have no complaints. It looks just like the Fire Flower. I like the eyes. So yeah, there you go. That's the Fire Flower. The next accessories Mario comes with are the Fireball accessories. This is Fireball number one. He only comes with one detached from the hand. Looks okay. It looks good. No complaints. Ha has white in the middle, yellow around the white, and red around the yellow, which looks good. You can't see the yellow too much, in fact, it looks a bit orangish. But but trust me, if you have it in hand, you will know. Now anyway, this fireball is attached to the hand like Yoshi's Egg, but it's not as bad as Yoshi's Egg because, you know, they at least gave us a fireball that's not, you know, j just attached to a hand. So, kudos to them from learning from Yoshi. So, yeah. The fireball is the same, but the hand is the new part. These hands that Mario comes with are actually new. They're not the same hands to hold the Koopa shells. There's no hole. They are actually newly sculpted hands, which actually surprised me because I, I thought they would, they would just give, give us the same, you know, Koopa shell hands again. Well, they learned, which is a good thing. So, thanks, Bandai. Here's more. We have. We have a a Tamashi unknown act arm. It's pretty much the same. We have this thing to to put on Mario's back. 
just like with the first release and Luigi. You already know what to expect. We also get a the same arm that came with Yoshi to hold him up in the air. It's for it's for the fireball. You need to find there's actually a bunch of holes on on this, so you can actually use this for like to create other displays. But the other holes they feel loose, like they come off so easily. Like <laughs> let me show you. I guess now it doesn't want to come off, but still it came off really easily for me. So yeah. Um, Fire Mario comes with just enough. I know a lot of you are thinking, God damn it! It's not enough accessories! Why did I pay $33 for this? Fuck you, dear Bandai Tomashi Nations! Bleh. Okay, calm down. There exists pl play sets. So, it's a surprise double review. Again, we're gonna go over Memorial Playset D. Here is everything you get from Playset D. Let's go over them. First, we have the Goomba. The Goomba is pretty much the same. You are not getting anything new here. Uh, so yeah, that pretty much that pretty much means we have three go Goombas now. Assuming if you did not buy multiple sets. One of our newest additions is the Koopa Troopa. The Koopa Troopa is pretty nice. I like him. He he's a good piece. But the unfortunate thing about him, he does not have any articulation. He is stuck in his running pose, and I think that sucks so. Bad. You sh he. There was a lot of opportunities to have a lot of creative Mario display options, but no, he gets no articulation. He gets no love. It's it's quite sad actually. But he since he doesn't have an articula articulation, he needs a coin stand to stand. Get it? Coin stand to stand. Comic Sans, Undertale, the Great Papyrus. Okay, I, I, I'm just um, I'm just saying crap. One of my f one of my favorite pieces is the boo. Near yeah. the the boo the boo is nice. I like him, except this this ugly mold line. I, I know you, you can't see it, but uh, I can see it. But anyway, yeah, he he's just a statue. That's fine. He he doesn't need articulation. The fangs they're actually individually sculpted, and it's also painted nicely. There's actually little to no slop. I'm impressed. So yeah, there you go. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, we have the bullet bill. This is actually my, my least favorite, which with reasons I will explain. First, one of the redeeming qualities that it actually has art articulation. And that's... Well then. Did not know the arm will just fall off like that. But at least now you, now you guys know that it is a, sw a swivel. So yeah, that's one of the redeeming qualities. What I don't like is the glossy paint job. It's reflective and it doesn't really fit well. Should have been more of a black that doesn't show any any, any of the reflections. Like, I think a metallic black would have worked a bit better. But the bullet bill is fine how it is. And it's also red over here, which is fine. Which is fine. Yeah, that's pretty much all. Like all the other play sets, uh, uh, it comes with a green stand and two uh, uh, unknown arms. One for the boo and one for the bullet bill. So, the play set D, while it doesn't come with nearly the amount of stuff as it does the other play sets, it, it still is a fun time to play around with. So, what's the final verdict on SH Figures Fire Mario and Super Mario play set D? Sculpt on Mario is great, paint job is great. Articulation, eh. Size comparison, it's good. And accessories, eh, you're uh, not too limited. Pl mm, place a D, the, the accessories are all good. Eh, maybe except for the bullet bill, but you know, that, that's just my personal opinion. With that said, I give the SH Figures Fire Mario a 4.5 out of 5, and place a D a 4 out of 5. Uh, uh, so yeah, you are not limited with the Mario figures now, assuming if you have at least all, all of them in the collection. So anyway, yeah. With that said, I'm Demario17, and I am out. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you all in my next video.